Hey, what's going on, Internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So there are a ton of effects inside of Adobe After Effects, and a lot of them of which we'll probably never use. And I'm gonna title this video something like 10 effects you'll probably never use. And the keyword is probably because there's gonna be someone that's going to blast me in the comments and say, I use that effect every day. And you know, I gotta be careful here. So keyword is probably. And talking about comments, go ahead and drop a comment down below on what are your 10 favorite effects inside of After Effects. And I wanna make a community video on the top 10 effects you guys enjoy using and post that video in about 30 days from now. So go ahead and drop a comment down below on 10 effects that you really like using and we'll make an awesome community video together. Enough of the chit chat, let's get started. Starting our list in no particular order is under the effect generate CC glue gun. So initially this effect generates you a circle with a few different parameters to just affect that circle and you can mess with the shading on it to kind of make a beveled circle which is supposed to look like a piece of glue and overall I don't know what you would use this effect for. Uh, um, there's a few different options in here but overall it's not necessarily an intuitive effect so maybe there's that one person out there that's like hey I use this effect all the time. But overall, I think the chances that you'll be using this effect for visual effects or motion graphics is highly unlikely. Our second effect on our list is also underneath the generate venue, and that is cell pattern. And I think this is actually a cool effect. It allows you to generate uh, several types of backgrounds based on like pixels. Uh, you can also do this nice little uh, supposedly pillow uh, effect, which kind of looks like a nice little uh, stone walkway. But overall, I cannot imagine using this for pretty much anything. I mean, even for a background, I don't know why you would go through this process to create a background. And overall, I think this is a type of pattern I would see from like a 90s educational video. So I just don't think today this is something that someone would truly use. The third effect on this list is also coming from the generate menu and it's called eyedropper fill. And basically this effect allows you to do kind of what the fill effect would do, except it allows you to uh, turn on hide the effect for a second and sample a point on your footage. So if I want to take this blue uh, Pixel here I can select it turn the eyedropper fill back on and it allows me to select that color in the shot Now of course I don't actually see the point in this effect because the fill effect allows you to do the same exact thing and You can take the radius and kind of create like a nice, you know gradient This could be a nice way to just select one color in your footage and create an overlay uh, based on the pixels in your shot but overall, I don't think this is like the common way of doing something like this. The fourth effect on our list is under the channel menu and it is calculations. And this allows you to take two layers and overlay them on top of each other. So I come here and select my bottom layer and then increase the second layer opacity. And basically this allows me to just blend these two layers together, which is a awfully a weird way to do it because normally you would just lower the opacity in your timeline and you can invert the clip but you would never i don't know why you would actually invert the clip and you can change the blending modes and overall you could just do this in your timeline and most people won't think to actually use this effect because it's not a popular effect you would use but overall i think it might be nice to do if you want to blend layers together through an effect the fifth effect on our list is also from the channel menu it is called mini max and this allows you to just increase the radius of it and create like a pixelated artistic uh, water painting effect if you will and you know, you can select different channels on it. So you can just do the green channel, the red channel, uh, and so forth. And you can mess with the direction of how everything's played out, which you can kind of create an RBG effect. Overall, I think this is a neat effect if you want to like mess around with After Effects. But since it's underneath the channel menu, I don't think it's going to make it popular because the channel effects are usually for compositing. And even though this does have compositing capabilities, it's just not something I think most people would still use. The next effect on our list is underneath the color correction and it's called the kernel effect here. And this is an effect I don't really understand its purpose right away, but it allows you to select different layers in your clip and you know increase or decrease the exposure of the shot, which I don't think you would use this color correction effect in a serious way. Uh, I think there's other effects like brightness and contrast which you would use. And again, I think this is like one of those effects that can just be used to be messed around with, but not something you would seriously use underneath the color correction menu. The next effect is underneath the noise and grain menu and it's called medium. And basically, it has one parameter on here and you can increase the radius and it does this weird stylistic effect that is cool and all. I don't know what you'd use it for. It's really cool actually, but I don't know guys. Once again, we're gonna do like some really, you know, over the top, you know, art project, but just, I just don't see this. Next effect is underneath the simulation menu and it's acoustics. 
And hopefully I said that correctly. Hopefully it's not acoustics, but it's acoustics, right? And this effect is supposed to allow you to create water ripples, if you will, and you can, you know, composite footage together. So here's the bottom clip and it looks really cool. But overall, I don't think this is something people would think about actually creating a ripple effect with. And moving forward here, the next effect is underneath the stylized menu and it's Kaleida. And this is like one of those like uh, effects that allows you to say, what does this image look like to you? And I think it's really cool. But from a professional perspective, I'm not sure what we would use this for uh, other than it's kind of cool to use, but definitely not something that you would use all the time. You can create some really interesting, you know, objects with it. This is the type of effect that I think you would see like in, you know, Windows audio player when they have like the cool backgrounds like, animating with your music. This is what I would expect to see. But overall, this is just a cool effect to play with. And to finish up our video here, this effect underneath the stylized menu once again, and it is called Mr. Smoothie. This effect is kind of confusing because it feels like a distortion effect, but also taking the threshold of your image and doing like this inverting effect to it. So there's a few uses to it. It's almost, and you can also, you know, composite layers together with it. And you can do like a lot of crazy things like mess with the phase. Um, and this is a type of effect that I'd probably see in a, you know, an art video art program at a college. So that includes my list of 10 effects that you'll probably never use. Of course, this was just my opinion, and, and of course, I probably could have made a list of 30 effects that we would never use, but these are 10 that I found that I would just never use. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to drop a comment down below on what some of your favorite effects are inside of After Effects. Please keep it to just the built-in effects, no plugins, please, and it could be any of the built-in effects. So, drop a comment down below, and we'll make an awesome video together. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this, and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video, and as always, I hope you have a good day.